At the beginning of the movie we see a young married couple trying to set traps for each other after a quarrel. Tom Lisek pushes his wife, causing the girl to run into a man who pours coffee on her. To get revenge, Sarah throws gum into her husband's thick hair. Seeing a huge line for a cab, the girl asks an angry Tom to give her a ride. The guy agrees and delivers the girl home. Tom throws her things out of the car and drives away, ruining the flower beds in the process. Once inside the house, Sarah cries and her husband makes it to his dwelling. Tom unsuccessfully tries to wake up Kyle, after which he himself goes upstairs. On the answering machine, the hero hears the voice of a certain Peter, which makes him furious. Coming to work on the radio, Tom remembers how he met a girl. When he and his colleagues were playing on the beach in the ball, he accidentally hit it to Sarah passing by. After that, the hero spent time together in billiards, penetrating sincere sympathy. Sarah and Tom quickly became close, although the hero was annoyed by his new girlfriend's dog. Soon the couple settled in together. Returning from his memories, Tom complains to Fred about the injustice, and asks why people get married at all, if it only destroys their love. The hero tries to broadcast well on the radio, but his thoughts are preoccupied with his new memories. Sarah's dog was interfering with Tom's reading, so he threw him a ball without looking, causing the dog to jump out the window and hit the wheels of the car. The hero lies that the tragedy was actually caused by a pigeon. Sarah suspects him of lying, but then softens and offers never to lie to each other. Soon the girl decides to introduce her lover to her very wealthy family. Sarah's relatives are shocked by her choice, but try to behave politely. A family friend, Peter, jokingly laments that he missed such a girl and wishes Tom good luck. In the evening, Mrs. McNeary talks to her daughter and says that such a speedy engagement is a shock to her. The woman says that love alone is not enough for marriage, but seeing Sarah's burning eyes, she shares her daughter's happiness and decides to support her daughter by starting preparations for the wedding in the morning. As Mrs. McNeary leaves, Tom makes his way to his bride and asks if she's sure about her decision. Before the ceremony, Kyle talks to the hero and tries to explain to him that marriage is complicated and unpredictable. Sarah hears the same thing from Lauren, but doesn't pay attention. Tom notices Peter and is angry that the girl invited him to the wedding. Kyle asks if Sarah had something with him, but the hero realizes that the girl then evaded the answer and said nothing. Meanwhile, the girl tells Lauren that she was with Peter and even wanted to tell the future spouse about everything. However, the friend advises Sarah not to do this. After the wedding, the girl cries, saying that she has been dreaming about the wedding day since childhood, and now it has passed. Tom lies that he also dreamed of such a thing. The hero calms Sarah, promising that everything in their lives will be perfect. Before going to bed, Tom gently kisses the girl and lies down next to her. The next day the hero realizes that they almost overslept the plane. Tom wakes up his beloved, and they accidentally hit their noses, but still get on the wedding trip. Sarah offers her boyfriend some fun in the restroom, where he gets his foot stuck in the toilet. The stewardess hears the noise and asks the couple to return to their seats. The heroes successfully get to the Alps and go to the hotel. However, already on the road and occurs their first quarrel. Tom is upset, but hopes that this was their first and last fight in their marriage, because they love each other. Getting to the hotel room, the couple fool around, repeating the words bonjour and mercy. The receptionist gives Tom the gift Peter sent them. Sarah is embarrassed and asks him to ignore it. Tom learns that there will be no TV in the room and he will have to watch sports programs at the bar. Sarah calls her family and tells them about her new experiences. Meanwhile, Tom finds a strange gift from Kyle. A friend decided to give the newlyweds an adult toy, and the hero seeks to charge it. However, Sarah asks him to be more careful since the plug on the socket is not suitable for European outlets. Tom ignores the words of the girl, because of which he breaks the wiring, and the whole village is deprived of lighting. The hotel owner finds out about this and demands the couple to evict from the room, as well as to compensate for the damage. The hero tries to negotiate with him, but in the end provokes a strong quarrel. Sarah is upset by such reckless behavior of her spouse, but Tom is sure that they will easily find a hotel. However, all the places in the hotels are occupied, and the hero continues to drive, wading through the blizzard. 
At some point, Tom almost collides with a huge truck and to save himself, moves into a huge snowdrift. There is no way to get out of the snowdrift, so Sarah begins to quarrel with her husband, saying that they could sleep in a warm bed if he had not quarreled with the hotel owner. Tom begins to scoff in response, apologizing for not being like the polite and diplomatic Peter. However, the pair soon reconcile and fall asleep together. In the morning, Tom opens the window, and through it gets out to the surface. The hero embraces Sarah, and is happy to be free, as well as beautiful views. Suddenly Tom sees a car and throws a snowball for the driver to stop. However, instead, the driver simply rams Tom's car, and pushes it off the cliff. Sarah calls a tow truck for the ruined car, and suggests her spouse to go to Venice a few days earlier, as it is extremely difficult to find a hotel. However, Tom argues because he has no money left after paying the fine. Sarah offers to borrow some money from her father, but the hero is upset by this idea, and he does not want to feel obliged. Tom offers to stay in a cheap guesthouse, and his wife's honeymoon dreams go to waste. Finally, the couple arrives in Venice. Tom hopes that their new accommodation will not be so bad, but the reality is like a nightmare, not suitable for a honeymoon. The couple are frankly having fun when everything in the room begins to crumble from the slightest of their movements. In a fit of passion, Tom accidentally breaks through a wall and falls onto another couple's bed. At night, Sarah and her husband listen to their neighbors having a wonderful time and laugh at the strange sounds. Tom offers to show them how to do it properly, but suddenly there is a live cockroach on him. After this gruesome incident, the hero still agrees to borrow money from Mr. McNeary and to settle in an expensive and presentable hotel. The man talks to Tom and hopes that years later he will be able to pay him back the money given his meager income from his work on the radio. The couple is about to go to bed, and the hero realizes that they have not engaged in night games since the wedding itself. The next day, the couple has a marvelous time together, taking in the various sights. Sarah is delighted with the sights of Venice, unlike Tom. Then the girl suggests splitting up for a while. The hero goes to a bar to watch a sports match, and the girl herself will look at paintings and other works of art. Walking through the streets of the city, Sarah suddenly sees Peter, checking into their hotel. A girl is socializing with her former lover, but refuses dinner, reminding him that she is on her honeymoon. Peter doesn't get too upset and leaves, as he has a lot of work to do. Sarah catches up with him, and lies that she and Tom are wonderful, and he loves to study cultural subjects. When the hero returns to the room, the girl offers to have a serious talk, because perhaps they still have secrets from each other. Tom admits that he is guilty of the death of the dog, and then interrogates his wife. Sarah admits that she had an affair with Peter, which shocks the hero. The heroes quarrel, insult each other, and go in different directions. Tom goes to a bar, where a pretty girl pays attention to him. Sarah goes to the museum, where she is supposedly accidentally met by Peter. The crying girl asks her friend to leave, but Peter offers to take a ride together to his friends to unwind. In the car, the man pours champagne for Sarah and talks about art. The girl meets Bernardo, who says that the first month of marriage is the most difficult, but afterwards everything can be turned into a beautiful relationship. Meanwhile, a girl from the bar starts to charm Tom persistently. Having realized what she wants, the hero decides to run away to remain faithful to his wife. Tom goes to the hotel and, having paid the porter, learns that his wife has gone somewhere with Peter. Learning that Sarah will not be there until the evening, the hero is very angry, and decides to return to the bar. Meanwhile, the girl is having a wonderful time talking to Peter and Bernardo. Toma again charms Wendy, and proposes to go together to the hotel room. The girl pretends to live on the same floor, and lies that she forgot the key. The hero lets her in, and Wendy passionately pounces on him. Tom manages to say that he is on his honeymoon, and only then the upset girl runs away. The hero waits for his wife and from the balcony sees Peter kissing her. Sarah slaps her friend and reminds him that she is on her honeymoon, but Tom is already hiding in the hotel room by that time. The guy pounces on Sarah with accusations, but the girl finds Wendy's underwear, and presents this to Tom in response. The girl throws an ashtray at the hero's head, which finally turns him against himself. Peter enters the room, and Tom begins to pursue him. The hero accidentally breaks the window of a police car, 
and as a result, together with Sarah ends up behind bars. Tom believes that the other people were right in saying that love alone is not enough for marriage. Peter bails the couple out, and they decide to leave Venice, cutting short their ill-fated honeymoon. The action returns to the present day. Kyle says that Sarah has taken her things and left her boyfriend an album of photos of them together. Tom decides to talk to his father. The hero worries that he rushed into marriage and ruined everything by doing so. The father calms his son, saying that everyone has difficult days, but they are mixed with something light and good. The man is sure that Sarah loves Tom, and these feelings are mutual, you just need to find the strength to recognize your mistakes. The hero drives to his wife's house and tries to get in. Sarah listens to him confess his love to her and hopes for the continuation of their story. The gate does open and Tom runs towards his beloved. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.